What's going on guys? I just got to the studio, got a couple packages in today. We're gonna set up a couple things I'm super excited about. Wanted to show you guys what those things are and I also have some big news for you guys. And real quick, you may notice guys, this is what one of the packages was. It is basically a windscreen. It's really for when you're outside recording content and the wind is making noise. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but sometimes in my tutorials you can hear when I breathe. And even if I take a big breath in between sentences, you guys can hear the so this should cut down a little bit. I'm still tweaking the mics a little bit. I do want to make it better for you guys, but that is one of the purchases that we got today. Now for the big news, guys, this is actually something I've been working on for a long time and it comes with the studio, but I'm, but no, I'm no longer, longer going to be, be working, working a regular, regular schedule, schedule as a barber. So I'm going to make the shift from a barber to more of a content creator. I'm not going to have a regular schedule anymore. I'm not going to work even my two days I was working. And I know you guys may say that's not a full-time barber, but basically what was happening, guys, I was coming in nine to six on the days that I worked, scheduled back to back to back to back to back, and I wasn't recording content and with YouTube being one of my main revenue streams guys I got to make content so as much as I don't want to lose clients don't want to not be here for my clients I'm not going to be on a regular schedule I'm just going to work with them work with the ideas that I have for videos and I'll just basically come up here when I need to and make sure that I'm getting content recorded now on top of that guys another huge announcement guys I have decided to hire an editor and basically a publisher for my channel now, I've gone back and forth on this for a long time guys there's a couple reasons that a lot of people have trouble getting editors and one of those is I want to make sure that they still convey my message and it's still true to kind of what I do so that's something we're working with it's gonna take a little bit for them to learn how I like things and you guys may notice a slight difference at the beginning I hope not but definitely in the long run it's gonna help out and I'll tell you guys why in a second the second reason I haven't done it yet guys is basically I edit at 10 o'clock at night when the wife's in bed when my son's in bed I don't really have anything else I can do sometimes you guys see me come up here and do content but obviously I don't want to do that all the time so I always thought if I pay somebody a thousand dollars two thousand dollars to edit my content I'm just gonna be sitting on the couch at night so through kind of this process guys I've basically realized that I wasn't putting a lot of thought into my content I was seeing what clients were coming in what clippers were coming in and basically just making those my videos so now I'll be able to proactively write down ideas and brainstorm and when I am consuming content at night if I see something that sparks an idea I can write it down and then like I said my schedule will be wide open like today I can pop in here and record a video for you guys so hopefully guys the content will go to the next level if you're watching this today this is edited by them so definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the video and the last video I actually edited would have been my studio part three that you guys saw and I put a ton of hours into that and it just solidified the idea that I need somebody else to edit for me so the level it takes to make videos really awesome and really entertaining on top of recording the content making the thumbnails doing it all I was doing it all myself so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes guys they're gonna basically edit the videos make the thumbnails post it on YouTube for me write the title write the description and of course I'll go in at the very end change anything I don't like again like I said I want it to feel like it's for me right it still has to come from me so I will basically be just recording content and I can focus on coming up with awesome ideas and making content for you guys. Anyway guys, the first package we have is a green screen. I had a white backdrop up there, but it was wrinkly and it didn't really hang right. You can see this side over here. It just wasn't exactly what I was wanting. And I have a pop-up white backdrop that I've been using. So we're gonna throw a green screen up and that is just gonna open up some possibilities. So real quick, I'm gonna throw it up. We'll see what we can do. All right guys, so that did not work out exactly like I was wanting. Basically the pipe was three inches and the hole in the green screen was three inches. So it started to go on, then it got super tight and then the seam started ripping. So for now it's just taped up. I'm gonna try to find a smaller pipe and maybe actually like stitch it back together or do something. I don't know, this green screen was only like eight bucks on Amazon, so I might just have to get another one. But basically guys, now I have a green screen. I can put myself anywhere that I want. We could do a tutorial in front of it and pretend to be anywhere in the world. Or you know, on the uh, thumbnail, I might put myself on a beach somewhere, you know, since I said that I was not cutting hair anymore. So we can basically go anywhere I could be cutting in Florida on the beach with the palm trees I could be in Antarctica I can do whatever I want with this green screen and it's gonna be super cool I don't really even know what else I'll do with it but instead of the white backdrop that didn't really work now we got a green screen and we can do whatever we want with it so next two projects guys these should work out a lot better and I'm super excited about it I can't wait to show you guys what it's for so let's go ahead and get the boxes out and set these things up and you guys are gonna be shocked when you see what I'm about to do okay right, so basically the green screen just rolls up we'll just take our blue cord here Roll it up into the ceiling. Boom, and the TV's back. All right, so the next box here, guys, this is a projector stand, and I'm not using it for a projector stand, but you guys are gonna see what I'm using it for in a second. Let me get all the parts out. 
All right guys, so this is the base. We'll go ahead and open it up, put that down here. And then the legs just go in each other, I believe. We'll loosen this up. There's one leg, take the second leg, loosen this one up, put that in there. All right, so there's our stand. Now we can take the projector base out. Didn't really know what I was getting, guys. We're figuring this out on the fly with me. So we're gonna put that straight up and then this goes on there like that. All right, so I'm gonna scoot that up, centered in front of the TV, and we'll get our next box. Now you guys probably have no idea what I'm doing right now, but when it comes together, you'll see. All right, that's all that's in that box. We got this little white thing right here. You guys are about to see what it is. Go ahead and pop out the bottom where the battery goes. We'll put the battery in. Let's set it right here. You guys are about to find out what this is for. All right guys, so we got this stand set up. You'll see what this is in a second if you haven't figured it out already. I'm gonna go to YouTube and find something that I'm looking for. Throw the camera up, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right guys, so I'm gonna move this camera up here. All right, so let's set that tripod up in front of the platform. Go ahead and set our camera up. Raise it up a little bit. You guys seeing what I'm thinking? All right guys, so imagine brand new Gold FX unboxing. We're gonna check it out today and see what it's like. We throw it in the middle here. And boom, we got some next level B-roll footage. There's the gold FX in front of some gold background. I'm gonna have to play with it, guys. Obviously, you can see the reflection, and now it's black, so I'm gonna have to get some type of light. But you guys get the idea, so let's go ahead and just, we're just gonna try it out on a couple more. All right, guys, so there is the blue Low Pro. Like I said, guys, I gotta mess with the lighting a little bit, but just imagine that shot right there for an unboxing video. The blue Low Pro spinning in front of some blue smoke or whatever you guys wanna do. And we can match this to anything that we're gonna unbox. All right, guys, so here is my custom FX and you guys see, man, these smoke graphics are just super sick. We got the pink, the neon behind it, a little bit of blue. I basically can do whatever I want with this. Any clipper, any trimmer, any product, we can throw it in front of, I mean, come on, look at that right there. That is just insane. So guys, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Obviously, I have to change where the light is reflecting off the TV. I don't really know how I'm gonna be able to get rid of that. I guess I can just turn them off and maybe use a ring light, but I will figure that out in the future, but you guys will be seeing this coming soon in my unboxing. And guys, the stand, this rotating piece, a lot of the stuff I have in here, this pull down phone holder, my ring light mounts, the lights on the ceiling, a lot of that stuff, guys, I did get from Amazon and I'm gonna link my store down below. I know a lot of you guys asked, I got some questions on the Dyson holder. All of the Amazon stuff will be live on my Amazon store. So click down below if you guys wanna check it out. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys are looking forward to this stuff. Guys, it's gonna turn out dope. I just gotta figure out that lighting and stuff. I'll probably pull out a couple ring lights and set them up and see what I can get. But you guys will definitely see this behind me in the next unboxing that I do. And I'm gonna try to incorporate the green screen. I don't really know what I will do with it, but I will try to figure it out. So like I said, guys, somebody is editing for me now. So let me know down below what you guys think of the new content. And I'm gonna be doing my best to bring you guys the best content that I can. I'm gonna be writing down notes. If you guys have any ideas, leave me those ideas and I will work on those videos as soon as I can. And we're gonna hit it hard, guys. My goal is to get to 100K by my birthday. That is July 18th, not a long way away. But like I said, guys, if you did not see my Barber Studio part three, make sure you guys click right there and check that video out. <laughs>